So today I'm going to show you how to throw a punch. Many people only use wraps and this doesn't help because you need to know how to throw a punch without wraps on. Your wrists need to be strong. So the point of wraps is to keep your wrists protected and sturdy, to protect your knuckles if your knuckles are weak and also not to take the skin off your knuckles. If you're hitting a heavy bag with this PVC material, your skin comes off quite easily. But to throw a punch correctly, you should be able to throw it without having wraps on. I'm going to show you the right technique, how to hold the fist, how to throw, and this should protect you and it will make you a lot more efficient in throwing punches. Holding a fist, many people hold the fist incorrectly, they place their thumbs incorrectly, and I've seen a lot of people either break their thumbs, or hurt their thumbs, just because they hold it incorrectly. I've even seen people put their thumbs inside their hand. If you throw a punch like this, you're going to break your thumb. If you're holding like this, this is an old, old school technique used in martial arts. They used to wrap their fingers. So what you should do is wrap your fingers tightly until you don't see your fingernails. And the old way to do it is wrap here for stability because it makes your wrist and your forearm more stable when throwing a quick punch. But for boxing, you want to put your thumb out of the way and you want to fold it in tight so that it still gives you the stability and your forearm wraps around that muscle becomes very tight and keeps your wrist in place. This is the correct way to hold the fist and when throwing you want to keep this as tight as you can. You don't want any gaps because any gaps causes a little bit of cushioning and you can injure your, your fingers like this or injure your knuckles. Keeping everything nice and solid and tight limits the amount of injury you'll get, keeps everything solid and will keep your hand protected because everything is tight, solid, and there's a bigger force. Now, the correct way to throw a punch, many people throw punches differently, but what you want to do is you want to practice from going from a palm up to a palm down. So as you're throwing, your arm rotates, your palm rotates, and this took me a long time in the beginning. I was also throwing punches wrong. Sometimes you throw them straight at the back like this. And that's not the correct way to punch and to remember to twist in takes a lot of effort in the beginning until your muscle memory kicks in so the way i used to practice is palm up quick strike twist your palm down so you want your palm to rotate so coming from a palm up you want it to rotate up hit the bag with a palm facing down so you've got to keep remembering this motion so when you're throwing Practice with your palm up and twist it. Now you'll feel the difference when you're throwing the punch. If you're just punching like this, it's a lot of effort and you don't get a lot of power out of it. When you're twisting and rotating, you feel that snap in the arm. You twist it fast and it snaps the bag and there's a lot more power with a lot less effort. So if you're twisting and you throw, here's a normal punch that's incorrect and when you snap it correctly you can feel that the bag snaps a little bit more and it's a lot more efficient so this is the first technique is holding your fist correctly throwing your fists and rotating them make sure that they rotate and you want to connect with your whole hand you don't want to connect with your pinky because this also causes damage you could hit the bag wrong slip off the bag hurt your pinky so you want to connect with a flat solid fist so that's a quick video how to throw punches if you go back to this video linked you'll get a six minute workout video and i'll see you guys soon